One of the most important buildings is the Whitworth Hall, which was opened in 1902 on the occasion of the Jubilee of Owens College. The hall, with seating for over a thousand, is used for large gatherings and university ceremonials, such as the conferment of degrees. The degree ceremony opens with a procession, led by two students carrying wands with lictors badges. These badges were presented to the university in 1926 by Thomas Brown and Sons. The serpent is the crest of the Duke of Devonshire, the first president of Owens College. The rising sun is pure symbolism for growing enlightenment, leading to the Latin inscription, Arduus ad solem, striving to the sun. An alternative northern translation might be, you don't get out, for now. The Latin inscription on the other badge is Honestas Optima Politia. Honesty is the best policy. The group following the leaders consists of representatives from the Committee of Convocation, teaching and administrative staff of the university, and heads of halls of residence. Convocation is the body of university graduates and current academic staff. A second group led by student stewards carrying wands, follows with representatives from court, the supreme governing body of the university, and senate, the academic body responsible for exams, teaching and research. Also in this group are the academics who will present the graduands for their awards. Next in the procession comes a student bearing the mace, which is made of solid silver. The main body of the head is decorated in applied gold, with the arms of the university. Of the former Victoria University, Owens College Manchester, University College Liverpool, and Yorkshire College Leeds, and the city of Manchester. Busy bees, a feature of the crest of the Manchester City Arms, and the double rows, representing the union of Lancaster and York, are also applied in gold. The serpent from the Duke of Devonshire's arms completes Mr. Leslie Durbin's design of the mace. The mace bearer leads the vice-chancellor, or one of the pro-vice-chancellors, who is the presiding officer of the ceremony and who will present the degrees on behalf of the university. The procession is completed by the registrar, or his representative. All the students taking part in the procession are volunteers from the university student body. The ceremony closes with the Latin quotation Salva sit universitas, nostra mancuniensis, hoc precantis consugamus, which translates to, long live our University of Manchester, so saying, let us stand. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me very great pleasure on behalf of the university to welcome you to this 
ceremony for the conferment of degrees. First, I'd like to congratulate all the graduates who are receiving their degrees today. You should be justifiably proud of what you've achieved. Our entry standards are amongst the highest in the country, and our degrees are highly valued throughout the world. Thus, to have lasted the course, you've demonstrated commitment, hard work, and intelligence. I would like to give a particular word of congratulations to those of you who completed higher degrees. Research is a solitary activity and requires great determination. Notwithstanding your own efforts, I'm sure that you all recognize the importance of the support and encouragement you receive from your families and friends. We in the university particularly welcome the opportunity which is provided by these degree ceremonies to share with your parents, grandparents, partners and friends our pride in your success and show them our appreciation for their contributions to that success. A student's life is not always easy and I'm sure that many of you graduands will have had cause during your degree courses to be grateful to your family and friends for the help they've provided and for the sacrifices they have made. Whatever your subject, you've been taught by distinguished scholars, men and women of international standing who have dedicated themselves to teaching and research. I'm sure that you would like me on your behalf to thank them. Whatever your subject, you've received an education, an education which should have, should have trained you to think about problems critically, analytically, and with an open mind, and to respect the truth even when the consequences of doing so are uncomfortable. To quote from Skinner, education is what su survives when what has been learned has been forgotten. However, for most of you, your graduation will not mark the end of your education and training, since you will almost certainly need to retrain at intervals during the course of your careers. Thus, continuing education and training will be a critical feature of your future development and one, incidentally, which this university is well equipped to provide. We live in a world which is changing rapidly and which is confronted daily with new and difficult problems. The universities and those who have graduated from them have a major role to play in helping to find solutions to these problems. The university itself is being asked to respond to new challenges and opportunities. Of particular note is that 1991 was the first year in which applications to universities from women exceeded those from men. In the present session, 9,000 more women than men applied for UK universities. However, although courses such as medicine already contain equal numbers of male and female students, men still heavily outnumber women in many uh, courses, including science courses such as engineering and physics. As a university, we would like to see this change, and we regard this as one of our opportunities. A different kind of challenge facing the university system is that government would like to see the number of 18-year-olds going to universities increase from the present one in 10 of the age group to one in three, and they would like to see this expansion achieved by the year 2000. The university welcomes these challenges and indeed has increased its undergraduates numbers from just over 10,000 last year to over 10,500 this year. To cope with this expansion, we are busy building extra accommodation for both undergraduates and postgraduates. However, the university is concerned that the government feels unable to find the funds which are necessary for us to continue to do the job in the way in which we would wish. In particular, we are worried that student staff ratios in universities will soon be at the level currently found in our secondary schools. The university recruits students from all, all over the world. Indeed, our student population of over 2,000 is drawn from over 100 countries, from Algeria to Zimbabwe. The presence of these overseas students greatly enriches the university and enable students to meet and establish friendships with fellow students from many different countries. I'm sure that the friendships you've formed during your time in Manchester will last a lifetime. 
In graduating today, you become part of an international fellowship of scholars in your own subject. A fellowship in which the pursuit of knowledge is what matters and in which differences of race, gender and politics are unimportant. Uh, unimportant. Furthermore, you become a member of another international fellowship, Convocation, the body of our graduates which exists to keep us in touch with one another and which links you to those who have preceded you and to those who will follow. I hope you will keep in touch with us by playing a part in it. I referred earlier to the many problems facing the world today. As H.G. Wells wrote, human history becomes more and more a race between education and catastrophe. These social and environmental problems confronting us today will certainly tax our ingenuity. You all have a part to play in ensure that the problems posed by social injustice and inequality, by economic and political uncertainty, and by new technology do not result in catastrophe. I have every confidence that you will not fail us. Once again, my colleagues and I offer each of you our warmest congratulations and our very best wishes for your future. Well done. Mr. Pro Vice Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Master in Business Administration. Mohammed Ahmed Abdel Maksud. Many congratulations, well done. Sistakis Andrea Agapu. Many congratulations. Thomas Arvanitas. Many congratulations, well done. Martin Philip Ashby. Many congratulations, well done. Eva Asanasaki. Many congratulations, well done. Penelope Jane Bannister. Many congratulations, well done. Justin Hugh Bartlett. Many congratulations. Henry Richard Ian Berridge. Many congratulations. Arabella Bislani. Many congratulations. Christopher Bowne. Congratulations, well done. Kevin James Brewster. Congratulations, well done. Michael Wei Kwong Chan. Many congratulations, well done. Cleanthes Chandiotis. Congratulations, well done. Paul Andrew Chetwood. Congratulations, well done. Jacqueline Big Lin Chung.
Congratulations, well done. Shang Zi Chang. Congratulations, well done. Michael Joseph Chinnery. Many congratulations, well done. Nigel Andrew Clark. Congratulations, well done. David John Clark. Many congratulations. Jacqueline Elaine Cowie. Shafiq Ramsey. Congratulations, well done. Pauls Dodi. Congratulations, well done. Brendan Peter Doyle. Congratulations, well done. Sven Egel Eriksson. Congratulations, well done. Raman Fallon. Many congratulations. Considinos Fuscas. Congratulations, well done. Nagiotis Ginakis. Congratulations, well done. George Georgiopoulos. Congratulations. Andrew John Harris. Many congratulations, well done. Janishi Hayashi. Many congratulations, well done. Peter Thomas Hindle. Congratulations. Richie Sharker, you hope. Many congratulations, well done. George Edicula. Many congratulations, well done. Robert William Ireland. Many congratulations, well done. Masato Ishikawa. Many congratulations. Terence Paul Jackson. Andrew Nigel Jones. Many congratulations, well done. Adrian Christopher Joseph. Many congratulations. Tatsu Kamai. Congratulations. Mahiko Kataki. 
you can wrap Thank you very much. Philip Julian Kim. Congratulations, well done. Tatsuhiro Kuroda. Many congratulations. Thank you. Ching Lang Lin. Many congratulations, well done. Lai Wang Lo. Many congratulations, well done. Leo McAuliffe. Many congratulations, well done. John Richard McLean. Many congratulations. Cornelius Joseph McGrath. Many congratulations. Orlando Richard Matthew Milton. Many congratulations. Sakamoto. Many congratulations. Nicholas Hugh Sanders. Many congratulations, well done. Wendy Jane Seddon. Many congratulations. Shalin Shah. Many congratulations. Dawn Smith. Many congratulations. Justin Peter Smith. Malcolm Neil Sullivan. Many congratulations. Thank you. 
Michael John Summers. Well done. Thanks. Peter David Swanston. Yasuo Taku. Many congratulations. Catherine Elizabeth Cecilia Ann Thompson. Many congratulations. Well done. Jeff Tomlinson. Many congratulations. Dimitris Konstantinos Satsos. Many congratulations. Well done. Margarita Vlako Christou. Many congratulations, well done. David Alistair Von Emlo. Many congratulations. Russell Lee Wardle. Many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you much. David Weatherby. Many congratulations. Derek Michael Webb. Many congratulations. Sarah Francis Wynn. Many congratulations, well done. Paul James Wollstonecroft. Many congratulations. Michael Casey Wood. Many congratulations. Shoshi Yamashiro. Many congratulations. Michael John Yates. Many congratulations. Well done. Ho Yo. Many congratulations, well done. Michael John Young. Many congratulations, well done. Yingzi Yang. Many congratulations. <laughs> Salva sit universitas nostra mancuniensis hoc precantus consagamus.